Hello friends, welcome back to Code Tonight. In today's video, we will see how to solve error parser error message could not load type of in dot mvc application in IIS. So, what what I have done is I have published one ASP.NET web mvc application and after publishing the uh, application on IIS, I am trying to run the application here. So this is the API application that I have and when I try to browse this, I am facing the error that I have just showed you. Okay, so this error is coming. Now we will try to figure out what can be the cause of this error. So basically this error is related to global.ajax file as you can see. Okay, so now we will go to the application. So first thing you have to make sure that <coughs> that the classes mentioned are the correct ones okay so your global ajax file um, as you can see in the error message okay so it is sh uh, showing the inherits of mvc application so you have to first make sure that that is available in your application so if i go to the class here mvc application you can see that Ovin is the namespace and mvc application is the class and that is available here okay so there is no issue in that now uh, the other issue you can have is the publish issue okay so the general issue that i faced in this case is uh, that the files uh, i have used for publish here okay so first time when i published and i made a few changes in that so after that the second time uh, the publish was not uh, refreshing the files properly okay so for example if we go here double root and this is the places <coughs> this is the place where we have our uh, api so now here uh, you have to actually notice that these files are the latest ones or not okay so how you will do that is if you are able to run the application on local you have to first run the application here on local so i am running the application So you can see that on local application is running fine, but it is not working on IES. So if you are having such an issue on IES, then what you have to do is you have to open the location of your project and you have to go to bin. And here you will have all the files that, uh, that are for the publish. Okay. So here you have to notice that these files are the exact files that you have in the uh, IES folder. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to match the files, uh, uh, random matching you can do, okay. So for example, I can check here, obin.dnl 5kb here and if I go to the other folder here and I have to check that it is 5kb, okay. And this is the file obin auth 16kb and I will check the file here. Okay, so you can see that file is not available here. So what happens is sometimes when you try to publish it does not uh, update the files properly there and in that case you can have the issue so you can try to publish again so if you, you can see here i have selected delete existing files true okay so now we wish that it should delete the earlier files once and then it should try to replace the files but sometimes it doesn't work like that and in those cases what you have to do is Okay, so we have to run the application in administrator mode. So the application is running now and I will try to publish once more.
so now i will click on publish and uh, as expected it has to delete old files and then replace the new files okay so if uh, you can check uh, if the files are not getting replaced properly then what you can do is you can copy the files manually from here from the bin folder or debug folder whatever you have and then you can replace the files manually in the uh, publish folder where you have the files for IIS. Okay. And after that, you can restart your IIS and then check if that works for you. So we will just see here. So it is saying that it has successfully published and I will try to go there and refresh it. Okay. So uh, I have got my file here and now I will try to just restart the IES and now you can just try to run the application again so in the local host I will just refresh it and this is from IES So you can see that uh, the error is resolved now. So basically uh, to highlight the whole conversation, what you have to actually check is that whatever files, if you are able to run this on local and you have a bin folder there or debug folder there, you have to make sure that all the files there must be in the folder which is published on IIS. If you feel any file is missing, then what you, what you can do is you can delete all the files from here manually and then you can republish the files okay in that case it will have new files okay so this is how you can solve your error parser error in the globalization file so thanks for watching guys